Good afternoon. Live from the Martha's Vineyard African American Film Festival, I am Andrea Lawful Sanders, your host on behalf of the Philadelphia Sunday Sun. Today is Thursday. We have seen a plethora of the 80 films that were being shown here on the Martha's Vineyard Film Festival at African American, the 19th annual African American Film Festival. And listen, we showed up this morning just for this one beauty queen. We met her at the Netflix uh, reception last week with her mother, Lynn Whitfield. We, all, we knew who her mother was before her mother said she was her daughter. <laughs> and this is... Her name is Grace Gibson. And Miss Gibson had a short film called River Queen. Yes, River Queen Part 1, Winter's End. And I don't know what I was expecting. Grace said to us, you have to come and see this. It's filled with music. And what we found was a whole story happening um, about her own life, right? And through the songs and her voice. At the end of the film, I got up and I told her it was guttural, right? So explain to people. We're going to talk to you in a little bit. Yes, <laughs> Amen. <laughs> You know, we all know her mother. We're just going My to make queen, sure that, that the that's original right. River queen. <laughs> Tell us what drove you to write and direct and star in this film, which was wonderful, by the way. Thank you so much. It's such an honor. You have such a warm spirit, and thank you for supporting. Thank you, Miss Kim. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you for supporting filmmakers and for asking such such great poignant questions and also um, just being so thoughtful it's really important I would say that I'm a musical artist I've been working on a music body of a musical body of work called River Queen I always knew I wanted to make conceptual bodies of work that were reflective of eras in my life and um, River Queen is um, based on a song that I wrote and it's based on a metaphor for life it's like an uneven body of water that we're all on and we're all vessels or we have the choice to be in God's eyes and every day you have a choice to get on board your own personal calling to fall in the water and just give up or to stay on land and never try and I'll say that I make the different decisions all the time and um, so with that being said I about 12 or 15 songs I've written over a period of 10 years that are in this body of work and I decided to split it up based on the seasons reflective of Vivaldi's four seasons um, of the seasons of life so with that being said it was like four short EPs but also I knew that I wanted to make four short films that corresponded with them so this is the first of the four mm -hmm. at first I was crazy and I thought let's do all of it <laughs> and then I realized we ain't got that money so Wait, so speaking of we ain't got that money, mm -hmm. I was watching a conversation with Facebook yesterday. Uh -huh. Who has, you see this green sign here that says we the culture? Yes. Hashtag, hash, hashtag we the culture mm -hmm. and hashtag S-E-E-N. They're supporting independent filmmakers of color. Amen. So, amen. Is she Listen. Hallelujah. Yeah, no. <laughs> mm. And one yeah, of the things that, the, hey man, and one of the things that I got up and I said to them was, can you please support the black filmmakers? Can you tell them, can you put the money into us? Because we are brilliant and we have things to offer and we have so much more that we can give. And they said, the woman from Facebook said, you would have sworn I put you in as a plan to ask that question. She said, because yes, we are working on it and they're accepting uh, uh, people to, to put into you will go go push your thing in go 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 uh, submit it submit it and Please see what comes I'm gonna tell you honey is she here today? I don't know where she and is she but we have so a young and beautiful. yes she was hunty yeah. yes Lynn so let me just tell you <laughs> <laughs> When this, we, Facebook? this this interview listen this interview is going up we're going to hashtag we the culture I'm going to find out the the VP of partnerships from Getty Images will be here tonight too in the tent I'm hosting a VIP event at 6:30 please find yourselves over here so we can highlight you oh, live okay yeah. okay Ooh. so you're going to submit to Facebook hunty <laughs> this I love her I For love you. you I love you I have to. Look. Honey, this is just a little something to break the wearing? monotony. What's the color? We are wearing lace and silk tonight. Okay, I got that. Yes, <laughs> oh, shit. So I got the memo. <laughs> she got we got them. lace, we got silk. Yes, honey. So, <laughs> okay. you, you know, you when you said that in the film room, in the auditorium, I said, oh, I've got to let her know that Facebook is working on something. Netflix also has someone that goes around and scouts people you know so you don't we don't have to have the money mm -hmm. at this point because of George Floyd and all the things that have been going on around the country now they're looking to see how they can support black filmmakers black artists black independent workers so it's there 
the opportunity is absolutely there for you. Well, we wanted this first piece to be a proof of concept. What, what, what are we capable of doing with very, very little resources? And I have to say, Bron Moyi, Kai Busan, Prosper Jones, um, Dante, Jasmine. I mean, the, the woman who was doing my, my hair that, I, that we got three days before was driving the truck as the DP with one hand out like a boss. Okay, she didn't know she was going to do that because we needed all hands on deck. And as a filmmaker, I'm really excited mm -hmm. to approach films in a different way mm -hmm. where we make the most of every... Because I'm a multifaceted person and mom taught me to be as such. Mm -hmm. So everyone on the team, I think it's really fun for us all to wear multiple hats. Because actually people think that that takes away from what you do, but I think it keeps you inspired and fresh. Mm -hmm. And everybody was learning new things on set. Yes. Everybody was pushing themselves. Yes. And it was so exciting to see everyone feel needed, feel necessary, but also break the monotony of just doing what they're used to. Um, it was a very small crew, but I'm so and grateful I to them. I there. I, I, they gave me reports. I was in another another state. <laughs> yes. like, I know this is going to be stressful, so call me when <laughs> this is over. done. I was waking up in my sleep like, I forgot the thing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> How proud are you? I mean, first of all, she turned into a... a, a a beautiful young woman who has a strong set of shoulder blades on which she stood on, which is your great-grandparents, the grandparents. But then you as her mother, the first time I saw, she walked up, she says, hi, my name is Grace. And when she walked away, I said, that is Lynn Whitfield's daughter. <laughs> she, she has your whole. So when you finally came over and introduced her as such, we said, we know, yeah. we know. So how yes. proud are you are her, of her at this point? Well, I remember one time I was at Dr. Angelou's house mm -hmm. and she made a statement that there's a distinction between being proud and uh, of someone which means that you're oh I'm proud mm -hmm. proud of that but I think it's aspirational for me uh, to see her um, have her own focus yes her mm -hmm. own vision mm -hmm. Because honestly, when she told me she wanted to do rock, I was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, I didn't know what that meant. But what I did know was I started to investigate in my own heart. What does that mean to me? And, and so, you know, to see her trust her own vision and do it, it inspires me because everybody is at a point where they need to get on board yes. or, you know, fall back in the water. Come on now. Right? Come on. So I'm at a point where I can stay on board or fall back in the water. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, what do you do as you move through the life of, of acting and storytelling? Yes. Like, what's the next thing? Mm -hmm. Or do you keep doing the old thing? Yes. So, you see, so so she she is inspiring to me. And, and I'm, I'm very much looking forward to um, her, you know, opening up this road even more. Mm -hmm. And the more she does that, the less concerned I am. And I, but I trust her. No, wait a minute. I'm just telling you the truth. But I trust. I trust what she's doing. So I don't even go and check right. on her creative part. Right. It's right. it's got independent artists yes. have to do it their way. Yes. Yeah. And she's strong-willed. You are strong-willed. Oh Lord. And I know that. <laughs> Oh One of the things I noticed first about you is that you own your energy, I which do. is a, you do, I darling. Do. You own your energy, which is a beautiful thing at such a young age, because oftentimes we allow other people to push us around mm -hmm. as we're, we're growing, you know, in maturity mm -hmm. and in age. You completely, not even your mother can push you around. I watched her. I absolutely watched her. She said, Mom, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. no, we're not doing that today. Love you. Yeah. You know, and so oh you, God, that's exactly how you God. said it. <laughs> Love you. Told you I saw it. I oh my gosh, you know me. <laughs> see, see. Do we know I, you I, in I, the past life? Probably. Mm -hmm, I feel that. Because mm -hmm. y'all are, y'all have this, this, the roar of like, I'm here. I am a Capricorn. I love Capricorn. So the goats, the goats and the lions. I don't know how the world can stand it without us in it. We love you. I'm the I'm the daughter of an Aquarius. Uh, let me just say this. I think that you don't raise kids so that you can push them around. You raise children in hopes that 
they're light on their feet yes. and that they have enough information to survive, yes. to thrive. Yes. And um, and so then, because, honey, I'm just waiting. It's like, yes, in the jet. <laughs> Where are my quarters? <laughs> yes, you're doing this for mother. Oh, you, you, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'm looking forward to that. Yes. You know, yeah, you, yeah you've yeah. done a phenomenal job. <laughs> you have. You've Thank done you. a phenomenal job. You raised you. a warrior. You oh, did. Thank you. And I have to say, I'm just, you know, the film. It says at the end that it's in memory of my father, mm -hmm. um, Jimmy Lee Solomon. Who? Hello. Thank you. We don't need you playing. Thank you. Um, my father, um, Brian Gibson. Jimmy Solomon, who mother brought into our lives, and he was an amazing and very uh, specific fixture in our lives, and um, Dave, David Black, who uh, believed in my, my little company, The Culture Crew, and invested in what we were doing, and unfortunately passed away last year. So it's in memory of them and in honor of her brother and our family, the Butler Smith family, and Kimberly B Butler Smith, who has is a caretaker and does so much mm -hmm. for her brother, my uncle, and my grandmother, who's the star of the film at 90 years old. Mm -hmm. And progressively through the films, you'll see her be more and more of a star in it. So you'll get to really see a reveal of her and get to know her character. And she, you'll get where we come from. <laughs> and I just have to say, Mom, you are so amazing. And to have had to tell me at 12 that my father passed away and then again last year that Jimmy Lee passed away and to be so strong and to carry that and to carry me through it all through recessions and college and high school and middle school and yesterday when I pissed you off I just yes I just want you to know that I love you and I appreciate you so much and I don't try to be the perfect daughter I don't try to show that I am because I'm not I just know that what I said I said I'm a thorn in your bum but I'm also the light of your life <laughs> That's what I said when I was up. But, but you're the light of my life. Relationships are that, right? Yes. And I love you. All relationships. So, honestly, I'm just really happy that I know that Grace is going to be a culture bearer. Yes. And that honor, you know, because that is part of what I am. And I think the stories, our stories through the next generations are really important to keep them now, to keep them fresh and present. And we don't do anything without the sum total of who we are. Absolutely. So, you know, Absolutely. so that's all a very cool thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like we've almost had a family greeting card or a bit of therapy. Yes, oh, right in <laughs> front of my face. I'm sitting here going, I'm in the middle. I, I feel like Iyana Van Zandt. Just, I feel like I was just sitting right in the you know middle of a moment. What do you call When her? she gets on, when she starts to be, you just need to. I was like, okay, Lin Lanyo Van Zandt. <laughs> She's like, darling, if you do this and that, and, -ra -pa -pa -pa. and I'm like, Lilania's back. Lilania. She's right. She does fix the lives, though. She's so crazy. All right. Yeah. We need to. Oh, we need to. <laughs> <laughs> you told me. <laughs> Can I plug the film? Yes, you but listen. Go ahead. Plug on, honey. I just want to thank the Philadelphia Sun for being here. These illustrious queens for supporting young, independent, independent, okay? Yeah filmmakers it's not easy parker thank you thank you to the whole crew and everybody who did this it's been a journey there's three more films to do please support us so that we can do it and put out music and break a musical artist independently and films at the same time i don't know if it's been done before so we're creating a new path of doing it please watch river queen winter's end we want to get distribution we'll figure out how to but look out for it and look out for the ep thank you and how can they find you they can find me on at the grace gibson or Grace Gibson, uh, that's on Instagram. Okay. Or Grace Gibson 247 on Twitter. But I'm not really there. Come to Instagram. That's where I am. <laughs> At the Grace Gibson. I am Andrea Lawful Sanders from the Philadelphia Sunday Sun. Tonight at 6.30 p.m. we are having a VIP reception. And these two darling women will be invited. So you can talk to them live. And we'll have people here from Netflix and from Getty Images and all over the place. So please come back and join us. And we'll come see you tomorrow. Fantastic. Okay. Guests of honor. Hey, shout out more. Yeah. See, <laughs> see, spirit, spirit, no spirit. You understand? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm so. I felt like I knew you already. See? I was like, hey, friends. <laughs> yeah.
Yes, you did. Did. yes, you did. Yes, you did. So thank you so much. On behalf of the Philadelphia Sunday Sun, live at the 19th Annual Martha's Vineyard African American Film Festival, I am Andrea Lawful Sanders. We'll talk soon. Goodbye.